What if your client wants to add the floor plan to your virtual tour? Would you be able to say yes or would you have to lose the deal? Don't worry because in this video I'm going to show you how to add a floor plan to your virtual tour in just three easy steps. And this virtual tour software is so easy to use you can even do it on your smartphone or iPad. Hi, my name is Mick and you're watching 360 Rumors, the resource that 360 shooters trust for in-depth camera reviews and innovative techniques. So a lot of clients want to add a floor plan to their virtual tour. The problem is that adding a floor plan can be very time consuming and can require expensive virtual tour software. And some software even require you to learn how to code. Do we really have the time to learn programming just to add a floor plan to a virtual tour? Well, the good news is that there's virtual tour software that's really easy to use, um, and you can add a floor plan to your virtual tour in just three easy steps. And you can even do it on the smartphone. Come on, I'll show you how. Let's say you've already taken the 360 photos. Now let's create the virtual tour. So step one is to go to Kula and upload your 360 photos. So after logging in, I'm gonna click on upload, and then click on create a tour. Um, you can upload up to 60 photos at the same time. So that's gonna save you a lot of time. Click on select images, selecting the photos. One, two, three, and four. And click on open. Now let's go ahead and give this tour a name and description. So you can change the heading and perspective of each photo. To do that, just click on edit and then move this uh, blue marker to change the heading. So say I want the mirror to be the first thing. After making the changes, click on save and then click on close. So let's, you can also change the order of the photos. Step two is to upload the floor plan. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click on upload. Instead of clicking on 360 image or create tour, I'm going to click on regular image. So this lets Kula know that this is a non-360 image. So I'm clicking on floor plan and here's the floor plan. Remember to assign it to a tour. So once it's part of the same tour, you can go to the tour, go to the uh, upper right corner, click on tours, and you'll see that your um, tour now includes the floor plan. The step three is to add hotspots. So uh, I'm going to add a hotspot first to the floor plan. Uh, to do that, I'm going to click on edit. From there, I click on hotspot and then you can drag the hotspot to wherever you want to add it. So uh, you can change the icon to change the appearance of the hotspot. Um, you can also label it. So we could call it entrance and we can change the font color. Then you have to specify what to do with the hotspot. In this case, we're going to send it to another photo in the tour. So it automatically shows you the other photos in the tour. So we're going to click on entrance. Next, I'm going to add the hotspot for the living room, the bedroom, and the bathroom. So go back to my editor. So after adding the hotspots, go back to main editor, click on save. Now we have to close this. So now we have hotspots in our floor plan. So if I click on entrance, it's going to bring me directly to the entrance. So now all we need to do is add hotspots for each of the rooms. So after adding the hotspots, just save and close and that's it, you're done. You have a virtual tour with a floor plan. And everything that I showed you can also be done on an iPad or even a smartphone. So as you can see, Kula is really easy and intuitive. And it's also affordable. As of July 2018, it only costs $8 a month. To create an account, go to kula.co. In my next video, I'm going to show you the best cameras for virtual tours. I'm going to include both 360 cameras as well as DSLR and fisheye lens suggestions. Don't miss it. I'll see you in 360.